What's up, guys? It's King Daddy D Mac, and welcome! Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Ascended! That's right, we're playing here on the Omega server, having so much fun doing flips! My goodness, how's everybody doing today? I hope you're doing well, because me, I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, we are really coming along we got ourselves last episode as you can see behind me our very best rg yes a uh, rage type the knockback yeah and crazy level it was absolutely insane everything i could hope for and more except for the color of course hopefully we'll get a mod to uh fix that we got our very first saber tooth yeah pretty good one too amazing colors different from the rg dude what's wrong with you you need to fix your colors and we got our very first dire wolf and a cosmic one let's let's see it it's it's pretty awesome bam gamma ray baby so yeah we are we're doing pretty good we're all set on our caving front which uh basically we needed something that could easily harvest loads and loads of bugs which for now these guys will do to get us loads and loads of cementing paste it was really holding us back and uh now because of it i do believe we can make ourselves the industrial forge cook up that metal oh so much faster i'm telling you uh having trouble uh keeping up with it i haven't done any harvesting for days and as you can see we have more raw metal than we do cooked metal so that being said let's go ahead get this bad boy set up and i did redo the base a little bit in fact you know what should we can we flip this backwards get it right about there that work still getting to here just fine yep and i can reach over perfect and we can unload i spent a little time again this is not our permanent base but i i was getting sick of living on it's still just a platform but i spruced it up ever so slightly added in a little bit more space because we're getting a little bit cramped um, I also went ahead, I made the correct industrial cooker, we made the AA one, and unfortunately it wouldn't do the uh, kibbles in it, but now we are all set, and I don't have to worry about filling it up with those stupid water bottles over and over, it's just gonna be irrigated, so that is super sick. Um, let's see, we should be able to now take a U and put you in we're gonna pick up this uh smaller forge because there's really no reason for him but i hope it's not balancing it better not be all right i think i think we're good boom and boom all right and it's not demolished we'll pick you up in case we need you for later but yes very nice let's go ahead turn it on so much better and we don't have to waste our spark powder so coming along i'm a liking it i'm a liking it a lot so pretty cool um other things let me see can we now craft the grinder because i get tons of stuff that i need to grind and i just it's not as good in the upgrade station anymore i guess i could always play around at the i and i's there but this bad boy grinds really well gives you some of the best amount of resources out of it per grind so that's cool um where do i want to put you for now i'm gonna i'm gonna stick them right yeah right here but uh boom awesome so you know whenever i want to unload i can just throw everything in here let's see what other stuff it allows us to get i guess it's all right here is there no folder thing okay that's that's everything so flint we can get thatch we can get synthetic crystal and from whoa is that just straight from wood that's kind of cool 
All right. Well, we got all those beautiful things. I also finally crafted up the shenanigans from the building mod. Everything, it, it basically looks like vanilla. But the one thing, the main reason I added this mod is it has windows. It has glass for each and every tier, it looks like, too. So this is something that really drove me nuts in the past. And now, in fact, let's let's craft uh, a couple of them. I just want to see real quick because I haven't played around with this really that much yet. Let's go ahead. Now, what we're working on, we're going to end up moving. At, oh, those are quarter panels. Crap. Crap. All right. Where's the bigger ones? This is what we want. Bada boom, bada boom. And awesome. That is cool to know, though. They do have glass quarter panels. All right. So we can now, for whatever type of thing, that's awesome. That is super cool. I'm curious if you can... Uh, glass settings. What does this do? Change structure variant. Borderless glass. Oh, yep. That's what I was looking for. That is cool. Switch to default. Yeah, pretty nice. And you can change, I think, the uh, translucency. Is that what they call it? Um, change glass settings. Um, you can, the opacity. There we go. Style nor. Oh my god. What? What? Okay. This got even cooler. I didn't even know. I'm just finding out now. That is sick. This mod is ridiculous. Okay. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Well, I'm going to play around with it more. And uh, yeah. Holy crap. That is cool. Thank goodness somebody came out with this. All right. So, 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 so. We got all that stuff done for now. Um, what we need to do is we need to get ourselves honey so that we can make sweet veggie cakes since that is required for the next tier of kibbles, which will be, we're on prime now, which will be ultimate. So it's going to take sweet veggie cake and to get sweet veggie cake, you need giant bee honey so i think we should start to try and get that i did set up all the other uh crop types so that we have that taken care of um you know in the meantime and sap is also something i you know when we just harvest uh the wood type dinos um i can just harvest them for sap so that might be enough plus you know what this thing over here said that we can just put wood in um, let's try this so um these are all my resource type dinos um this guy makes pearl he's a pearl type this one makes wood i actually just crafted this guy up and uh yeah it's not bad and we got this guy that does crystal we have this guy which does metal in the aa mod it automatically pulls metal out i might be able to set it up so it pulls all these things out but um anyway so we've got all those resources there also is an obsidian one and i'm trying to think there's any others in fact you know what i can just look right there right there and where is it resource so there's metal crystal so we need a stone one and an obsidian one other than that it has pearl and wood and then when you fight and harvest a wood one it will actually give you um harvested for sap so that's cool it's too bad it doesn't whoa dude what the crap i just pressed exit and it deleted it that's i hope it doesn't permanently delete it anywho yes things are going quite well i grabbed out the wood right yeah i wanted to try this let's go there is there an on why is there not an on inside? That's so weird. All right. We got our sap. Don't even have to worry. That is sick. Awesome. 
yeah, really should have it inside. All right, cool. So that's taken care of. Uh, of course, it's it's not fully automated, but whatevs. Whatevs. All right. Um, these are the last four t uh, last four types that we need to get females of in the prime tier before um, we have every single uh, prime egg layer. So then we can get every single ultimate type. So these are all the ones that we have so far. These are the ones we got to keep an eye out for. So all those things being said, let's go ahead, grab our best guys, and let's head on over to see if we can get ourselves a little bit of honey and who knows, maybe find some of these creatures along the way. So wish me luck, guys. And oh, yeah, of course. Please remember to show that amazing support for the series by smashing that thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel or you haven't yet, seriously, what are you waiting for? It is the perfect time to subscribe. Also, be sure to check out the Discord. It's an awesome place to be and also where you need to be if you're interested in joining the sub servers so just head on over there if you are or if you just want to hang out and be part of the community uh link is in the video description below all right wish me luck guys see you in the redwoods all right i found the beehive i teleported back to the base because there was a couple of things that i needed to get um i also wanted to check something we want to make the domesticated beehive and i couldn't remember if it was with honey or did we have to tame a bee and it ends up we actually need to tame a bee so on the bright side of things we don't actually need to get honey which is very nice because it's a pain in the butt to get your first 50. however um that means we need to tame a bee so I came back to the base, I got myself some bug repellent, and then I also noticed in the potion mod, there's a potion that's called Leave Me Alone Potion. I don't know if it works, but it's basically a variant of, um, you know, it, it requires the bug repellent to have it. So kind of cool. I don't know. We'll try it. I made two of those and then also bug repellent. Um, I also went ahead and made wake up potions, which are not too pricey, but something we should always have. Yeah, it's actually really cheap. Just prime cooked prime meat and stimulant. So in case we need to wake, you know, a tame up or something. Um, the next thing, I don't know what's going to happen with the bees when we go to tame them. Are they going to be a modded bee or are they going to be a vanilla bee? So I went ahead I made some simple kibble. In fact, I'll be honest, I, I had to spawn it in because unfortunately we are playing with 100% or at least it's supposed to be 100% uh, Omega dinos. Well, that means all the eggs that they lay are Omega eggs. And even though we have stuff that would be considered the same tier as simple kibble, um, you know, because it costs, it, it requires simple uh, eggs. Um, unfortunately, let's, let's just look. So simple kibble, unfortunately, um, we don't have any simple dinosaur eggs, which it, it ticked me off. Um, there really should be new recipes put in. I, I feel for this, for if you're playing fully modded, but anyway, I went ahead, I threw away the, uh, resources that it would have cost. So, you know, minus the, uh, we didn't actually have the true simple eggs but just something to consider. There really needs to be something where you can like convert it over or whatever. So that all being said, I think we are actually ready. Um, I also uh, upgraded my ghillie so that we can wear a ghillie suit for this. I don't know if it's gonna matter when we have the leave me alone stuff, but um, you know, either way we have it. So, um, oh. I need to make a new too. We lost a whole bunch of our inventory. Uh, the pickup. Got to make you again. I, I don't know what happened to it. I think when we died to the RG that one time, um, to this RG actually while we're taming it, I feel like maybe we didn't pick up all of our stuff. I don't know. 
But anyway, um, let's actually really quickly put this on you so that we have it. Awesome. There we go. All right. So let's teleport in. Hopefully this will be extremely easy. Hopefully. Because I just, I don't like dealing with bees. They be crazy. All right. Let's definitely uh, make sure we clear out the area. Because if it is, you know, a little tiny bee, uh, you know, bad things can happen. And we're going to have to be on foot while taming this guy. All right, where are you? I mean, it doesn't really matter. Those guys shouldn't go down there. Um, there is a beehive right here. So I guess just the immediate vicinity. Let's make sure there's no terror birds. Oh my goodness, move. Let's make sure there's no terror birds. Oh, okay. Those are, I thought they were bees for a second. Yep, definitely want to get rid of all the ants. It's kind of interesting too. Some ants are modded and some are not. It seems I, for a little bit, I actually wasn't sure if they had modded ants, but we should be able to ride a modded ant if we can find one to tame. All right, what else we got I hear guys? Get out of here, bros. All right, compies, something else here. I tell you, with the, uh, I wish there is, I, I know there is a command, or at least there used to be. I don't know if there still is. But there is a command you could do to turn off all the, like, grass and shrubs. Basically, the ground clutter, what it was in ASC. I wish there was just a, uh, in your menu, a way to do that or turn it down. I feel like that would help a lot of people graphically. All right. You're probably not a problem, but I'll clear you out no matter what. All right. We good? We good. Um, I already lost track of which where the tree was. There it is, right here. All right, so um, here's what I don't know is I just don't know how things are going to go down. I do not know. We got to break the beehive. We probably should. Oh, uh, no, let's just let's just go. Let's uh, we'll do a swing with the RG that should hopefully break it. Let's pull our thing back. Bada boom. All right, let's go ahead and I guess eat the leave me alone. Okay, cool. All right. Did that Was there a bee that came out? I didn't I didn't hear a bee come out. Hold on. Oh, I hope we didn't mess this up. Following the noise. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, why could I not tame it? Oh, is it mad? Why are you mad, bro? I, I, crap. Oh, uh, better. Is it a knockout tame? Could that be what it is? Oh, this is... I killed it. Dang it! I'm just realizing this. It might be a knockout tame because we have the thing set to everything's a knockout tame. Oh, crap. This might be harder than I thought. All right. I found another hive, and it seems fairly safe here. So let's do this again. And see what happens. All right, I don't see the bee. All right, I guess there's doesn't technically have to be a queen every hive. I I I think that's how it works, which is likely just an excuse for Ark being janky. Um, maybe I switch to my Pteranodon and we do a spin instead. That might be better. All right, here we have not one, but two beehives. So let's get this a going. Uh, let's go ahead and bug repellent. 
And leave me alone potion. All right. Let's... Oh, crap. Of course. What's going on? That's a little ways away. All right. Let's see if we can do it. Let's try and only... All right. Do you hear a buzzing? Oh, I see a lot of bees. I see a lot of bees. All right. Let's dismount. And as soon as I pick that up, it should... They should chill out. All right. And there's the queen bee. Oh, look at this time. Starfire. Oh, man. All right. Um, oh, what is the health? Doesn't have a lot of health. Come on. Oh, this is going to be a little complicated. I don't have a lot of normal darts, B. All right. All right. It's coming down. It still potentially could be a passive tame. Maybe. Let's just see what happens. Nope. Definitely not passive. Oh, God. Oh, God. All right. Did that do torpor? Dude, it did no torpor. It did no torpor. Crap. I don't know what to do, guys. I don't know what to do. All right. Check it out. There's actually... I don't know how this happened, but there is a bee right behind the hive. It's like stuck in between the tree and the hive. Um... Can I... It's a meltdown one. Can I see the bee itself? They don't like this. Can... Oh my goodness, Lee. All right, I'm going to gather honey regardless so that we can get honey. So we have something. I don't know what to do. I honestly don't know what to do. Um, I think I have to restart the server if I do the admin change to make tames not require knockout. But even then, I don't know if it would be a passive tame. Oh, this is so stupid. All right. Um, bees, go away. Go away, bees. Go, go, go away. I don't know what to do. Um... And I'm pretty sure that our other tranks uh, kill it if we shoot it with it. All right. And that's behind the hive. I kind of don't want to break the hive, though. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, no. Those are the stupid other bees. No, 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 no. Come on. Go away, bees. You know, I'm tempted to just say forget it and just spawn one in because this is really driving me nuts. Go away, bees. Um, Let's go ahead. Get Are they gone. All right. Uh, pull from storage. Let's grab our pteranodon. Let's break the hive. And I don't see a new queen come in. That is so weird. I just want a vanilla queen. That's all I want. Ah. All right. This is even better. This is even better. I wanted to test. I spawned this guy in. I wanted to see what would happen if I spawned one in. Would it be an omega one or a normal one? Oh, but it's still not a passive tame. Oh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. Um, We should be able to. I, I wanted to fully test, though. And it's still possible this is an Omega one. Because sometimes the things do not show correctly. All right, B. Yeah, um, we hit it. They don't, do, they don't take Torpor. That is so annoying. I don't know what to do. Um, I think that basically, I think you'd have to play it with no, with the taming thing not being all knocked out. But I really don't want to do that. Like, I don't want to have to deal with that. 
I don't want to have to restart the server. It's going to take forever. I think we put in our fair share. I think we would have tamed one if we could. I am just going to give myself a beehive and just call it a uh, issue with the mod. If, if I'm doing something wrong and there is a way to do it with the uh, taming everything or I'm just an idiot, let me know and we will do it. Let me know the correct way. But to me, it just it seems like it's just a flaw in the mod right now. Definitely could be wrong, but that's what we're going to chalk it up to. This should just be 50, honey, I almost feel like. But anyway, is what it is. Bada boom. Bada boom. We got our AA modded hive. So, is what it is. But at least we have it. Let's go ahead. Let's take it. I miss the old S plies so badly. Um, let's put our honey hive, I guess, right here. Bada boom. And then if we put rare flowers into it, I think that's how it works. Hold on. Let me read. Does it just generate honey or does it convert it? Uh, oh, yeah. This one, it just generates honey over time, which is crazy. You don't even have to put in honey or put in anything. All right. We'll see how it does. We're only going to get the one, though, just because of the recipe. So anyway, is what it is. We got that done. Let's start to look for what we want to tame today. And if we can finish, dude, look at that guy. Oh, beta harvesting. That's pretty crazy. It's more cool when it's on something else. But yeah, the harvesting type, we don't have any yet. Anyway, let's see what we can get tamed. And like I said, we still need to get these guys in prime before we can move up to the ultimate anyway. So let's get to it. Holy crap, look it. It is the first um, cool Colossus, the actually usable Colossus maybe that I've seen yet this season. Oh my goodness, I'm stuck. Dude, this is cool. It's it's only an alpha, but um, I don't know. I, I definitely want to check it out. It's a 480, so it will become a decent level. The only thing is, how are we going to get this guy trapped? He's so ginormous. Oh, he's so cool, though. You know, it would be interesting, though, because we might be able to uh, breed this guy into something higher. Why are you always the, like, browns? We are just the brown king this season. But anyway, um, there's some really scary stuff here. So come on, dude. No, 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 no. Come on. We've got to lead them away. There is loads of dragons and wyverns over just around the corner. So let's see if we can bring them to our taming spot. And I'll meet you there. All right. Let's see if we can get this guy. Um, Definitely going to want to put down a taming trap if possible. All right. So we've got a medium size with... Didn't we have... Okay, I guess this is medium size. Is that going to be big enough is the question. Let's find out. Come here, buddy. Come on, come on. So if he's... Oh, oh, perfect. Oh, crap. But I just realized we're on the wrong mount for this. All right. Oh, jeez. All right, uh... Pick up. No, gate down. All right. We got him. We got him. Holy crap. And since it's only... uh, Let's get our guy out of there. Since he's only an alpha, he should go down quite a bit quicker. Oh, this is cool. Again, you know, yeah, we're higher tier than this. But, hey, this is the first one I've seen. Got to grab him. Awesome. All right. And we should be able to use our uh, higher tier mythical kibble. Usually they've taken, I don't know. It's going to be between one and two. I'll just put two in to be safe. All right. It was only one. It was only one. Give me back. Did we get it? No, we ate it. Dude, this is awesome. Let's see. Did he damage? 
Yup, he damaged. All right, I'm just going to leave this here. Gate up. And I'll come back to repair it later so we can pick it up. Awesome. Um, I wanted to try him out. Uh, let's pull over. Oh, crap. He's following us. Oh, I can't do that because of the... St no! Go away thing. Okay. Let's pull over the... Come on. Uh, our other RG. So... Let's see. RG. Boom. This is just so we can get the saddle. Come here, buddy. All right. Let's borrow some food, too. Thank you. Get packed up. All right. And whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down there, buddy. I know you're excited. I'm excited, too. All right. Come on. Ugh. Saddle there. Boom. Let's get rid of these stupid... You know, I should get a chibi, though, because uh, it would allow us to get more levels. But look at this. You know, it doesn't look like as much because you get larger in this um, when you mount them. But trust me, this thing is ginormous. And uh, that's a wood guy. So we're only one tier higher. Come here, buddy. We should... There we go. There we go. Not bad. All right. I don't know. It'll be interesting. It'll be fun. I'm going to level them up for a little bit while we go and continue to hunt for more stuff. But I think this should be pretty dang good. And let me see. Does he do the slam? Let's go over here and... There we go. It does. It's not as uh, loud as the slam used to be, but I'm sure that'll get changed at some point. Who knows? Anyway, continuing on. Ooh, I'm so tempted to try a wyvern, but the issue is... Ooh, it's scary. When you look at them, um, even though a lot of times they, they are modded, I don't know what tier they are. It doesn't tell you. So I don't know what kibble to use. So, you know, eventually once we get up to the highest tier kibble, we'll get guaranteed to get it. But until then, is that a Colossus too? Yeah, look at it. It's, it's a small guy though. Holy cow. Look at that. Oh, that is epic. I love this. All right. Anyway, anyway, let's... Get him put away. I'll see you back at the next thing. Holy crap. Guys, look at. Remember from uh yesterday? The uh or the other day we saw this guy? It's still here! Yeah, I haven't had to do a uh, server restart or anything, so there's been no dino wipe. We have the cage kind of already set up. Why don't we see if we can get this guy knocked out and then we can go back to the base and see if we have enough honey to uh, actually get him tamed. Come on, bro. It's a little risky just because if we don't, um, basically we need three cakes. Now, the thing I'm worried about is I don't know if the honey is going to generate um, like, is is the base loaded in when I'm not around? This is my fear. Because a lot of times it seems like it, it isn't. We got to be careful. Is this guy supernovas? We are in deep crap. Come on, bro. All right. Um, Let's swap up to somebody else. Boom. Pull dino. RG. No, not RG. Uh... Uh, yes, 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 yes. All right, let's grab you. All right, let's go set the trap real quick. All right. Oh, no, that's not good. Uh, bro, you got to get out of here. Oh, my lordy. Last thing we need is a gamma ray going off. Seriously. All right. Get into here. 
Let's go activate trap. All right, should be active. All right, let's go pull this guy in. Oh, I hope we have enough kibble. Come on, dude. All right, all right, this way, this way. All right, let him hit us once just to get that aggro locked on. Come on, dude. Come on. Now, what I don't know is would his supernova... Ooh, ow! Does it damage the trap? And it looks like it might. I don't think it can reach this far, so I think we should be good. As long as he doesn't break the trap itself. Oh, this is going to take a lot of darts. Look at that. Almost 300,000 Torpor. All right. He's just about down. And holy crap, that supernova, it actually reaches pretty far. Um, He went, broke my armor and everything. I know, bro. All right. Let's get back to the base and let's hope that we have enough honey. Um, bada boom. Yes, this one. And I hope he wasn't hitting anyone else either. Now, he's got a lot of torpor. We probably have time to sit here in AFK. Oh, we only have four. So, yeah. All right. I'm going to have to sit here AFK until there's enough. We're going to need, I'm going to guess, two kibble, which would be six cake. Yuck. All right, we should have enough to craft a few. Let's just see. How many do you get? All right, one, two. Can we craft another two? All right. So that's enough for one kibble. All right. Can we get two more? I think that's all we need. Holy crap. And how much more? That's all of it. Jeez. All right. It wasn't that bad. Uh, it definitely is does not work when we're not in the area. So good to know. Two ultimate cosmic kibble. Prime. Oh, no. Remember, that was one of the ones we didn't have. Oh, no. Crap nuggets. Oh. You know, we've got so many Cosmics, but they're all males. Um, I'm going to do something that I'm a little desperate. I haven't done yet this season, but let's see. A Blood Pack and a Refertilizer. All right, so we can swap them. Let's go ahead and make Refer... And of course, this is only if you have a, a Potion Mod that's able to swap them. Bada boom. All right, um, who should we swap? The Singularity Pteranodon. Let's get you swapped. All right, let's find out if this works. And, ha ha! All right, now I do not want to insert him into the machine. But unfortunately, that means it's going to take that much longer. Crap, I should have did this a while ago. I don't know what I was thinking. Um... Let's just see. For the ultimate eggs, or the ultimate kibble. Okay, it's only one egg each. So thank goodness for that. And I've already made up loads of jerky. The uh, mod, the AA mod, has this guy, which is amazing for jerky. Just remember to turn it on so you can get it working. What is, what is in here? Is that just hidden? Yeah. All right, here's to waiting. Ooh, that took so long, but we finally got it. All right, ultimate and two, please. And turn on. There we go. All right, I grabbed off the saddle from uh, this dude. Yeah, I switched it up, made him his own saddle. It really gives you an idea of how large it is. And I swear, the Colossus seem way bigger now. Like, way bigger. But uh, anyway, neither here nor there. 
Let's get back. Let's hope the guy is still KO'd. All right, let's go to uh, teleporter and bada boom. All right, please still be knocked out. Yes. All right, nothing came and attacked it. Should be well starved out. It may not take two. And it only and oh yes, and we saved it. <gasps> Beautiful. All right, let's get the very good saddle on it. Bada boom, bada boom. And let's pick him up. Let's toss him back out. I forgot to bring over the stuff to repair it, but let's see. RG, we'll get to that later. I'm glad we didn't pick it up. All right, so Supernova, what's that going to be like? Let's go. Oh, Phoenix Dodo. All right, cooldowns almost up. Ready? Oh, my lord. Do you see how much damage that's doing? That is nuts. That is seriously nuts. Holy, and that's without us putting any levels into it yet. This is going to be amazing. We are back at the base, and I finally did it. I added in the Dino Painter mod. I miss this thing so much. I meant to have it from the beginning, but how much better does it look when we have the correct colors on all of our creatures? Ultimate Supernova RG, so beautiful. Our Colossus RG in true Colossus colors. We've got our other two, Singularity and Starfire Pteranodons. Uh, didn't have to recolor the Starfire one. I thought it looked pretty cool, as is. Same with the Banshee Sabertooth. But Gamma, do, uh, Gamma Ray Direwolf, much better. Our Pelagornis, much better. Our Knockback Rage RG in the Rage Red. Love it. Um, this is our Elemental one. The Elemental is traditionally yellow in color. Um, also, our other Windburst Pteranodon, our Gorgon Pteranodon, also mythical, and, yep, colored up Rage Phenomia. So, yeah, feeling much better. We can finally get the proper colors. Same with uh, the Prime Singular, uh, Starfire Anklo. So, pretty cool. I am digging it. I am loving it. And we finally got what is ultimately likely going to be our strongest creature so incredibly awesome however we are out of time so i think we can kick things off in next episode finally uh well leveling this guy up and uh finally moving on to the ultimate tier in more creatures so super duper epic and amazing i cannot wait but guys Thank you so very much for watching. It's been a pleasure. As you always do, please remember to show that amazing support for the series by smashing that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel or you haven't yet, please do not forget to subscribe for the daily ARC awesomeness. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks again and peace out.